All right, just leaving. Well, I actually just left. I actually left an hour over an hour ago, but just left the uh, Miami Heat game. Uh, my first Heat game, actually, I've attended in a, quite a while. First Heat game since COVID, obviously. Obviously, it's a couple of years since I went to Heat game. Because where I live at, um, I actually am about an hour, I would say hour and a half from the arena. So it's definitely a little bit of a trek for me to go to the game. I've always said, though, if I live closer to the arena, I would definitely be a season ticket holder, without question. I mean, of all the sports things I root for, it is the one I'm most passionate about. I have been passionate about for the last for 30 plus years. Um, and um, yeah, so it was a great night. I hung out with my dad. The original plan was to actually go with my brother. My brother um, is a partial season ticket holder. And he invited me to go to the game, actually, uh, about two weeks ago. And like, last minute, well, not last minute, but a couple days ago, he said he couldn't make it because he had another engagement he had, to, he had to go to. So he asked me if he wanted to go with my dad. And it was with dad. And I, I told him, obviously, yeah, absolutely. And it's actually pretty cool because I've never I haven't had a chance to spend much with my dad since COVID. And we haven't really spent enough time like this, I mean, him and I alone, um, in a number of years. You know? So, you know, the opportunity to not just hang out with my dad, but also to go to, you know, go somewhere with my, with my dad. That's actually something we're both passionate about. We both diehard basketball fans, diehard Heat fans for a number of years, and you know, he- heavily invested in the team and have been. It's cool to enjoy that with him. So, it was, we had a great time. Um, it was a f- really good game. Um, the Heat won. Although, it did get scared in the end. They were up by 19 middle of the fourth quarter. And then Utah made a comeback and literally cut lead at one point. At one, at one, uh, cut lead at one at one point. And uh, was definitely in position to possibly win, tie the game or even win that game. Um, which was, you know, obviously it worked out for the Heat. But more than anything else, it was just a really good night to do something different. Um, especially in my case where I, you know, my life is pretty much a rinse repeat of home, work, kids, you know, and then the things I do to keep me sane in those, in those times. It's work, it's family, it's, it's work, family, you know, and all that in the podcast and, you know, things I, I do. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I hate those things. I love, I love those things, but... It's always cool to shake things up once in a while, you know, do something different. Um, and outside of like traffic going into Miami to the arena, and then especially leaving it tonight was a pain in the ass. By the way, parking where we parked at, we actually parked near um, right next to the arena. Fifty bucks to park <laughs> where we parked at. Um, I mean, it is what it was because it was, it was easy access to the car. Because we were literally across the street from the arena. But at the same time, it's like, damn, 50 bucks. But I can't get too bad about it. Because, I mean, we really didn't spend much money on, on everything here. Because the tickets were free. You know what I mean? My, my brother, you know, obviously paid for the tickets. It's, he has seen tickets. So, it's just gave us tickets. And, uh, you know, we just, you know, obviously paid for food and all that. And, and, and just parking, really. So, it really ended up being, you know, still, you know, a cheaper night. Only because the tickets were not, we were covered already. Um... But, uh, you know, I, uh, have got pizza there, um, dude, two pizzas, a beer, and a, and a drink, $51, holy shit, I mean, um, <laughs> it is what it is, man, it's just one of those things, um, but other than that, um, it was a great night, like, I, I had a fantastic time, my dad and I had a great time, great conversation, talk basketball, watch basketball, uh, you know, you, you, these moments you don't you don't know when you're gonna get them again and whatnot. So you want to, especially now in, in in the COVID era where things are so in the air with you know you don't know. You know you have to when you get these moments, these opportunities to to invest in family, invest in time with people you love and care about. You do that, you know. And like I said, with my dad and I, we haven't had. It, Quality time, like the quality time like this in a number of years. I, I, I would dare say <sighs> the last time I think I hung out with him like this where probably at least 10 years, maybe, maybe more because think about it. I've been a dad now eight years 
you know, everywhere I, every time we see my parents, my mom or my dad, you know, it's always, in a, you won't see in a group setting. It's always with the kids. It's always with the wife. It's always with, you know, other siblings too. So it's always in, in gatherings of family. And obviously those things are, I mean, obviously those things, those things are great, you know, I'm not knocking those things, obviously. You know, but when you get the opportunities to actually invest quality time and spend time with, you know, people you love, you know, you, you really should take advantage of, it, advantage of it and whatnot. So, anyway, just wanted to quickly just talk about that and uh, just say I uh, had a great time tonight. The Utah, Jazz are, the Utah Jazz are a good team. I just don't know if they'll be good enough to get through a hump. You know, again, Utah, I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I had Utah's number one seed in the West this year. Um, I just don't know if they're good enough to get over the hump when it's all said and done. Because again, are they when it, when it, when the reason road? Are they as good as L.A. The, the, the Lakers? Are they as good as, good as uh, you know Golden State Warriors? Are they as good as, as even sell Denver Nuggets? So last year, for example, they had full strength and they still couldn't get over the hump. The Clippers still beat them without Kawhi Leonard in the last couple of games. So you know something to. You know, look at in this young NBA season. Utah will be there. Utah will be in the playoffs. They'll definitely be in the one, probably one of the top seeds in the, in the West. But are they good enough to crack the code finally and get to the finals? That's the middle of the question. So, anyway, that's my quick unfiltered podcast over and out. Um, hope you guys are hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy Week Nine in NFL football. Um, look forward to the podcast in, in the coming days. Uh, got a lot of cool things planned out in terms of episodes for the next for the next couple of weeks. Uh, just look out for that. And uh, until then, we'll talk soon. Later.